Hello YouTube, Scott Levin here with my friend Leroy Johnson. Uh, Leroy, as you all know, is uh, kind of a legend in Buffalo and Western New York and around the world as an artist, but he's also an attorney, which is interesting. Great to see you, Leroy. Good to see you again, Thanks Scott. for joining us Thank on you. Get to Know Today. Uh, let's begin first and foremost with your background. Tell everybody at home a little bit about your background where you grew up as a kid, schools and stuff like that. Okay, well, I'm a Buffalo boy. Yeah. Uh, went to Catholic school, St. Anne's, St. Bridget's, and um, uh, then into public school my last two years. Uh, East, I went to East High School, Hutch Tech. Bobby right, of course, had, yeah. Had, had, went to quite a few high schools. Uh, attended Canisius College, then I went off to Georgetown Law. Uh, and I grew up with a, a famous brother, had... You know the story, I guess. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. So, we'll right. talk about that, but right. you grew up in the projects. Yes. And you never forgot about your life growing up in the projects, even though you became an extremely successful attorney in town. You have to know where you're coming from to know where you're going. That's so right. it, it was a great experience uh, meeting the people, learning those experiences, because it prepared me for life, you know. And so uh, here I am. So I go back mm -hmm. and um, I do what I can to, um, to help out when I can. But uh, both of those projects are gone. Right. I mean, the, the Perry is gone and right. uh, Willow Park is gone, but uh, the memories are always here. Now, you still practice law today, correct? Yes, yes, I do. What kind of law? What do you practice? Well, I do mostly personal injury, but I do a uh, civil practice. Right. In fact, I was in court today, this right. morning, two courts, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, I have a general practice because I have my own firm. So, uh, so let's talk about your artwork. Um, it is amazing artwork. Thank you. I mean, it really is. Anyone who sees it knows that it's one of your pieces. Um, it's not often that an attorney becomes an artist and becomes a famous artist. How did that happen? Because I was an artist first, <laughs> you know, I wasn't an attorney first. I was, I was an artist since I was five years old. So, law just came along. Art gave me the ability to e explore things in my mind, and that it, uh, it gives you a thinking because you're, it's a really a thinking process that you have to use in, in art, uh, imagination, that kind of thing. And um, when I was in high school, the question was, was I, I, I going to be an artist or not? And I, I decided that. Uh, uh, I'll just continue with art, but uh, let's try school for a while and see where that, that takes me. Where, where's your inspiration come from? I mean, we look at this beautiful artwork that you do, and you have a huge catalog of artwork. Uh, some here at Buff State, at, uh, at the Birchfield Penny, but it's all around the world people have these pieces. Yeah. Uh, where does your inspiration come from? Is there a particular artist that you look to, or is it all original from Leroy? Well, it's original, but I look to other artists and I, I look to everything around. Everything I see is art. Everything, everywhere you go, there's art. Everywhere. Everything that you see, everything that's visual. Your is prism art. of life yeah, is it's art. It's just a question of, of uh, how you interpret it or whether you want to interpret it and whether you want to put it into, um, into your work. So I, I believe everything. I'm always looking at things and, and, and different things to try and enhance my art. Every time I go to the canvas, it's a different experience. Uh, it's almost as if it, uh, I'm a new artist every time. I don't, uh, sometimes I don't even remember the process, so. When do you find time, since you're still a practicing attorney, when do you find time <laughs> to be creative? To go from the courtroom this morning to like just Clark Kent, all of a sudden I'm an artist now. Every morning, just about, and every weekend, um, and any time the inspiration arises, then I might doodle something or whatever, and then just keep that idea for a while, and uh, if the idea comes up twice, then I'll paint it. You call your work, I'm trying to remember, Electric, electric primitive. primitive. Electric Primitive. I had never heard that term until I read it. That's because um, I created it. You created it, obviously. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Well, explain to the viewers what Electric Primitive is. Well, uh, if you look back at the word primitive, primitive is primitive. It's, it's uh, uh, someone who's not really schooled and uh, who might be painting things, uh, um, ancient things and ancient themes. But uh, electric is really the use of colors. I, I try mm -hmm. to electrify the, the, the primitive things. If you, if you look at, at a, uh, a cave drawing or something like that, you know, uh, some of them are very colorful, right. but they, they usually only use red okra and uh, uh, some yellowish colors and, and 
um, maybe some uh, dark ash or something like that. So what I, I consider myself doing is electrifying that by putting in your, your bold colors, your, your reds, your yellows, your blues, and, and uh, I love to use a lot of silvers and golds and that kind of thing. Does that include an African theme with it also? Oh yeah, it's very Afrocentric, right. uh, but at the same time it's, it's modernistic and uh, it's electric primitive colored people, right. like colored people from back yeah. in the day. Right, right. But, um, and, and it's really playing out now with colored people because we're all colored, we're all mixed with different colors. So. Uh, that's why I call it color people. And I usually put masks on. This one just particularly doesn't have the mask, but usually I use very colorful masks that are all different colored, and, that, and that, that's why it's colored people. Who is your favorite artist? Do you have a favorite artist? Well, uh, I have to say Abba Gis Nascimento, who actually did some paintings here. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you got you have Basquiat, Chagall, and them. those are Chagall. some oh, yeah. favorites of mine also. Yeah. So Your home must be kind of like pictures everywhere trying to picture your home. Do you have a lot of artwork up on no, the walls? I have a, every wall is full of art. Full of art. Every hall and every space is full of, not just paintings, but sculptures and masks and uh, uh, everything is, I think in my home is a piece of art. Okay, let's talk about Buffalo a little bit now. Your favorite place to go out to eat, like what's a great night out to eat for you here in Buffalo? Well, it depends on my taste. Right. You know, if if it's uh, if it's Italian food, uh, you know, I, there's there's chefs and other places. Um, You're a chef's guy, okay? Yeah, there's chefs, and if it's um, if it's sushi, uh, you know, I'd love to go to. I don't know if it's still open. Uh, the Sea Bar that just closed. Yeah. 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 But I love the the food there. Right. Um, I'm an out guy in other cities. Right. I don't go out much. You in cook at home a, a lot at home then, probably. No, I, I just mean, you don't I, cook. I travel a lot, so when I'm out, I eat. When I'm in Buffalo, I try to go to the gym and work everything off. What I do you do in your free time then? When what you're I not do? painting and you're not doing legal work, what do you, what do you do in your free time? Um, <clears throat> it's not much free time. Most most of my free time, I'm, I spend traveling, mm -hmm. and and I, I integrate work and uh, with art mm -hmm. and. Uh, Whatever is going on, wherever I am, I, I try to integrate that. Whatever's going on, whatever city. Yeah, you a, a sporting sport fan? You oh, like yes. Bills, Sabers? Love the Bills. Love uh, the Bills. Love the Sabers. Uh, so you're a fan. Yeah, of course. All right. Well, let's talk about. Also, we can't uh, talk to you without talking about your famous brother. Also, you were um, his manager, Rick James. Yes. Um, Rick is missed by m millions of fans and people. He's one of the most well known. Uh, people to come from Buffalo. What was it like to have a famous brother and to manage your famous brother, Rick James? Well, um, I, I like to stay in the background for the right. most part. Um, uh, it, it, it was a lot of work. Right. I mean, Rick was a, a uh, as you said, a super, he was actually a superstar. Right. And it required a lot of people to manage him. I, you know, I was the manager, but there was a lot of people who worked with me in terms of managing. We had a, a slew of lawyers, a, a slew of security, everything you can think of. We, right. we had to have a lot of, um, and uh, uh, I'm happy that we did what we did because uh, as a result, I think Rick is an iconic individual now. Yeah. Uh, and I can look back and I hear everything that Rick does or one of the pro uh, projects that we had, uh, I hear right. something every day. You're a Buffalo guy, born and bred. What's your favorite thing about Buffalo? Well, the favorite thing I love is that you can go anywhere and see somebody that you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it's one big family here, and I like that because you know I, I see people that I grew up with, and uh, you know the legal community is like that, and uh, uh, the people here at the Birchfield they're like that. Um, uh, I I just love the the uh, the community spirit that Buffalo has, and and also it, it's the most comfortable, beautiful place that I've been. I don't care in the world. Right. I love Buffalo as much or more than any city I've been to. And, and last question, are you doing pieces for specific people? Do people contact you and say, Leroy, I'd like you to do a piece for me, piece of artwork for me, uh, or are you just well, doing I, it on I, your I own don't, schedule? Um, I, I don't do that kind of thing. I paint for me. Right. You know, I, I will uh, paint pieces if you if you want one of the pieces, it's fine. But, you know, if you want a blue painting, uh, I'll give you a blue painting to pick from, but I'm not going to do you a blue painting. You know, right. I'm not going to do that kind of thing. You know, I, I will do something based on a theme, uh, usually for shows and that, but not for individuals. Leroy, it's been great to get to know you, and we appreciate your time today. We appreciate your work that you do on Canvas and in the community.
Thank you. Thank you so much for your time today. Okay. Great time getting to know Leroy Johnson, a real Buffalo icon. Thanks for joining us on Get to Know. Okay.